seems legit. Hi Legitimates, welcome back to my channel here at Seems Legit. I am doing another Timu haul. Uh, so if you would like to buy anything that you see in the future, download the app. I have popped it down in the description for you. Um, so let's get started because all of this was awesome and really, really cheap. So first up, I've got a list here so that I can tell you how much they are as we go. It just means I'm going to have to read it a few times. So we're starting with these pens. Uh, they fit in the Cricut. I have tested them out. It works awesome. They have two ends on each of the pens. So one end is like the fine felt tip for doing writing and stuff. And then the other end is more texture like so that you can do thicker lines or you can color it in. So I have actually traced out something with this and then used the textures to color it in as well. They work really, really well. And the whole pack of 36 markers is only $29.99, which is the cheapest found place I have found markers for the Cricut machine. Next up we have, I love this, it is green glitter vinyl. So it is, um, it's just awesome. So it's got like a shine to it, but it's quite smooth. Uh, this is a 12 by 12 sheet uh, and it is iron on and it was only $2.49 for the piece. Sorry, I keep hiding my face. So that was only $2.49. Um, I will be putting it on a shirt. We will do it in a video. I just haven't decided what I want to do yet. And I haven't actually showed you all the stuff yet, but I have been thinking about it. Um, so that's that. The next one is, where did I put here there? Snips. I go through so many of these because of all the sewing I do and sometimes I cut fabric with them which eventually makes them blunt. Uh, but these were only $1.29 and they've got the good end that's completely connected. I like these ones more than the ones with the little hinge here. These are my favourite type. I usually get black. If I can find them in green, I do buy them in green. I didn't search very hard so I just went with black and that's okay. The next one we've got, and I have already used some of this, this is called B7000. It is the same glue as the E6000, but these two pieces only cost me $2.29. I have tried the glue. I tried it out before the video. It does work just as well. And I like that it comes in little tubes. It does waste a bit more plastic, but my kid has this obsession with super glue and stuff. So the fact that if he steals one, he's only stealing a little bit of my glue and not all of it, I love that. So that is really, really cheap and it does work really, really well. Uh, tweezers. I was going to get green, but they didn't have any. So we went with blue because it's pretty. Uh, it's a two pack of tweezers. I'm going to try my hand at some card making and they look like they'll be really, really helpful. So the two of them were only $1.49. Um, they're not like eyebrow plucking tweezers. They're not that fine tip but they will do what I need them to do for scrapbooking really, really well. So I've got the curved pair and the straight pair. I always need tweezers. They get bent, I don't know how, they just do. All right, 99 cents. You might all be wondering what the heck this is. This is a beading tool. So I'm, I'm creating a new product. It's actually outside drying with some paint and it requires me to thread some beads onto some like thicker string. Rather than trying to thread it through a needle and then put the needle through the beads, I feel like this is going to be way, way easier. And for 99 cents, we're definitely going to try it out. I went with pink because pink is my second favorite color and they didn't have green. But that is awesome as well. All right. I've heard the rave about these, so I want to try them. Um, I got two of the cutting mats that fit in a Cricut and they were only $4.99 for the two of them. And... I got fabric, which is the same. So in the Cricut world, the purple ones are for, um, no, extra strong grip. So this one is strong grip. And then this one, the pink one is fabric and it is for fabric in the other colors as well. So they've picked the same colors so that we all know what they're for, but I have heard good things. I haven't used them yet because I'm going to do this video first, but I do want to use my Cricut to make a, an applique and stitch it on a bag. So we are going to use these mats when we do it, and I will put it in the video. But for $4.99, like, that's so cheap for Cricut mats. So even if they don't last as long, as long as they last long-ish, that is still a great bargain. I'm going to pop them down there out of the way. Uh, 
where was I? So, the other thing I want to do, I'm, I don't mean to get more hobbies, but it's happened. I want to make birthday cards to have on hand to just, when it's someone's birthday, instead of having to drive to a shop to get a card. I just want to have a bunch on hand. But I've apparently gone all out. And so I've got this stuff. It is um, stencil plastic, so it's quite thick. Um, it's six mil. No, that can't be right. 0.6 mil, I would assume. I think I've written it down wrong. Anyway, so it's thick plastic that you can make stencils out of. Now, I won't be going down the path of, yeah, it's 0.6, but it's still thick enough that we can make like a nice stencil. So I plan on using it. I have a plan and I'm not buying all of those oxide ink stamp things because that's a, that's a hole I don't want to go down and I've got nowhere to store it. But I do have a plan to use this with some glue and like you can do it glue and glitter, glue and some other stuff. I have a plan. So I bought a whole pack. Uh, the whole pack of 36 pieces was only $17.49, which is pretty cheap for stencil plastic. That is a lot. I can also do, I can make stencils for anything. I plan on using them mainly for card stuff, but I will make stencils for sewing stuff and see if that helps anybody as well, because I've got heaps of it and I can just make them forever. So they are 12 inch squares so that they will fit on your mat really, really well. And then you can like use them up as best as possible. So I've got that too. Uh, this one's pretty. So this is the, this is, it feels like buttery smooth from Inklings and the Kraken. It is a fabric vinyl. It is thick enough to create like bags and stuff with. It's got a really pretty print and this whole piece was only $7.49. So it is width of fabric, which I think is about 140 wide. Um, and it's, 12 inches or 30 centimeters but it does come in bigger bits if you want to i will be able to get a bag and wallet out of this i think it was really really pretty they had a heap to choose from again all the links for these are down in the description um, and i'm going to put them up in order so that you can just f kind of follow along if you need to but this is really pretty i will be doing this in a bag video i know it's not quite cricket related but i saw it and i couldn't leave it there because it's just pretty uh, so $7.49 for that one. And then I got these two as well. So these ones are thinner uh, and they were $5.99. So they were a bit cheaper. They are thinner. These would be more for like accent bits rather than a whole bag. You could you make a bag out of it. You just have to interface it. Uh, but I got like a bronzy one. It's very country western looks like hand tooled gloriousness. And then I got like the brown one more of like a almost tanny country and western brown i thought that was really really pretty so i got both of them uh so they were 5.99 each this one's gonna be exciting this one is really really thick um but it's laser vinyl so you can laser off the top layer and it has a different color underneath and then on the back where it's shiny this is iron on so i can iron a patch on after i've laser engraved something awesome so we'll be pulling the laser out to do that. I've just got to check on some settings because I imagine we don't need to laser off too much of it. And I also can't remember what color was underneath. I think it was silver, maybe gold. I don't remember. We will find out when I do the video. Um, and I will be doing a video on it. So that's really cool though. I have seen in America that they have other ones, um, but postage just just killer. So now I can get it cheaper. It did come in a bunch of different colors though. So you can get like black with silver, black with gold. You can get brown with black. There were options, again, in the description. Um, and that one, so that piece is $22.49, which does seem expensive, but it really isn't. For how much I got, that really isn't expensive. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna make patches. I don't know what for yet. Maybe I'll put them in a subscription box or something but it's gonna be amazing. All right, um, the next one, we're nearly, we're like most of the way through. These are really pretty. So this was a pack and the whole pack was $19.49, so under $20 for all of these. They are, I don't know how big they are actually, 9.8 by 11.8 inches or 25 by 30. So like, almost an A4 or slightly bigger than an A4 sheet. 
you know what, there's an A4 sheet. So they're bigger than an A4 sheet, if that makes sense. Um, and so they're printed HTV. So they've got really cool psychedelic prints. This is why I picked them. Um, I thought this was just kind of cute. Oh wait, I missed one. There's another one stuck behind there. So it's got some roses. And while I'm not a huge fan of roses, I actually think I have fabric that matches this. So that's gonna work out really, really well. Uh, but there's a whole bunch, this is my favorite one. I love that. Probably because it's rainbow and loud, but I love that one the most. Uh, then we've got another floral. I have seen a fabric similar to this at Spotlight, so I probably will go and buy some. Uh, a mini floral. And butterflies, because everybody loves butterflies. So again, I will be using these in videos. Probably not on those mats because they're too strong a grip. Um, but we're going to do some HTV. We're going to do some on bags, some on clothes. I'll get there. It'll all be crazy and glorious. This. If you guys watch my videos, you know I have a pen knife and I'm obsessed. This is a weeding tool pen. So I mean pen weeding tool as opposed to pen knife. Um, I liked it. I'm not huge on rose gold, but I liked the rose gold with the white scales. Um, and if you have a look at the tip, it's just got like almost like a needle kind of in there. So I can just kind of stab out all the little bits. This will come in handy. I know it will. And it's going to be comfortable to kind of hold. So that one was $4.79, which is pretty cheap, really. And now I don't have to make one. I have seen hacks where you can put like needles in pens and stuff. I'd prefer to just have a real one. So I'm good. All right, we've got two things left. I finally own... A guillotine! Um, and I really like this one because the handle locks in. You have to pull it out and then it moves. And it's also kind of spring-loaded. I love that. Uh, I have already used it. It does work really, really well. And it's also got this. This is actually a sticker, not a piece of metal, so it doesn't make it heavier. Uh, but it's a sticker that's got measurements on it so that you can work out. I mean, it's obviously a little bit out, but you can kind of work out what's going on. Uh, I have used it. It is awesome. It will pop up in videos all the time. I can promise that. And that one was $31.49, which is the cheapest guillotine I think I've ever come across. And it's awesome. And it's not too heavy. So the, the back of it's empty. It's not like solid. So it's not super heavy, which means I could probably hang it on the wall since I'm running out of cupboard space and bench space and just all space. The last thing I got was this which doesn't look like much but it's a cricket carry bag because i do spotlight demos i need a bag to carry stuff in uh so it's all padded it's got um bag foam i would assume i don't know part of me wants to like open it and see what's in there pretty sure it's bag foam um so it's got straps to hold it in and then you've got these kind of slip pockets up the side so you can put rolls of stuff in there and it's also got these two little kind of cargo pockets on the front to carry all your tools and scissors and stuff. It has the normal handle and it's got a shoulder strap. So I will now be able to take my Cricut easily into when I do demos. And it also comes with a dust cover. So the dust cover has these Velcro elastic straps so you can wrap it all the way around it if you want to. Um, and then the dust cover also has little pockets in the front of it. So when it's sitting on the shelf, you can put a nice dust cover on, especially if your area gets dusty and dirty or you don't use it very often and you don't want to get dust into it, this would be handy. Um, most of the time when I'm not using the Cricut, I think it's just going to end up in the bag for me. Uh, but we'll see. Currently, it's on my kitchen table. So that's everything that I got this trip. Everything will probably, well, except maybe the bag, but pretty much everything's gonna make appearances in other videos, so stay tuned. Um, and it was, oh, this was $27.99. It was under $30, which again, is crazy cheap for a bag. So don't forget to download the Timu app. And if you're new to buy, if you've never bought from Timu before, uh, there's a code that I've put in the description that you can use and it will save you up to 90% on your first order. So go big. I mean, I always do. Never can I just buy one thing from a store. It's always a lot, which is fine. 
it just means I have all the things to do all the things. Thank you all for watching. Uh, there will be more videos coming up, I'm sure. I am forever trying to record. It's just a matter of life gets in the way sometimes. Um, but happy shopping. Bye-bye.